tells me I've been dreaming of someone who was never real. It seems I've changed a thousand ways. I wish I looked the way I feel. Break things. My life gets complicated. Boyfriend. Don't want to talk about it. Teenage. I'll work it out in the end. again. I'm coming home because my baby wrote me a letter. Hey, does that mean you're coming for a visit? Hey, I can't hear. Yeah, of course I'll be around. Waiting to see you. Okay, I'll tell Josh and Adam. I love you too. Bye. Richard coming home? Yep. Richard's my dad. The traveling rock musician. The type of grown-up who insists your friends call him by his first name. And who always makes you guess what he's thinking by singing a song. Everybody loves him. Except for my mom, of course. I mean, she used to. So is he going to hang with us? For sure. He's coming to do a concert in the park the weekend after next. And then he's home for two whole weeks. That was the thing about having divorced parents. Ever since I was eight, I've had to have a day timer. How else could I keep track of everybody's schedule? Very nice, Maria. Are you practicing for the Olympics? <laughs> no. New ice rink opening up. Are you wearing perfume? Yes. Do you like it? Since when do you wear perfume? It was a gift. From who? A friend I met at a seminar. David. I'm going to dinner with them tonight. How do I look? Oh, you look great, Dr. Spitz. Yeah, Mom, great. I think I'll go check my makeup again. Since when does my mother act all girly? Hello? That's what you do whenever you're in the same time zone as Alden. That's totally different. Alden's the love of my life. The guys my mom's gone out with have been more like experiments that I've had to suffer through. What a cute little girl you are. My cheek hurt for three days. It's lucky I didn't need reconstructive surgery. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. <laughs> I can't believe how funny that is. <laughs> that one was really traumatic. I was afraid to tell another knock-knock joke for weeks. And then the butterfly landed on the moose's right Antler. Storytelling performance art guy? Oh, he was so boring. I nearly went into a coma. Oh, this guy's probably another loser, just like the rest of them. My mom will catch on eventually. She always does. Well, maybe you should give this one a chance. Your mom's probably lonely. <laughs> lonely? She's got us. OK, so she needs an excuse to escape. <laughs> You don't. So I hear you tickle the old 88s, huh? I play the piano, if that's what you mean. I have my grade three from the conservatory. Hey! You wrestle? Yeah, I'm on the, uh... Uh, hello? I won the regional championship in my senior year with this hold. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you okay, man? No problemo. Uh, I'll uh, call my chiropractor in the morning. We better get going, David. Oh, but I want to say hi to your daughter. Sharon, honey, can you come down? I'm studying! I guess it'll have to wait until next time. Next time? Good night, boys. Good night, Sharon. I won't be late. <laughs> next time? Where 
Where is she? How can you sit and watch TV when your mother's practically a missing person? Chill, Cher. I'm sure she's okay. Excuse me. We don't know anything about this guy. Sure we do. He plays piano better than he wrestles. Very funny, Adam. Mom said she wouldn't be late, and it's already after 11. Hey, someone just woke me up right in the middle of a really cool dream. Fascinating, but you might be interested to know that Mom's not home yet. So, what's the big deal? Doesn't anyone around here read the paper? No, including you. That's not the point. I still know what's going on out there. Maybe that's her. Maybe she's just being polite? I couldn't believe my mom was actually attracted to this guy. He was so goofy. Not like my dad, who was funny and cool and talented. What was she thinking? Didn't she know that kissing Mr. Tried Too Hard was just going to keep him around even longer? Honey? Uh, you're putting granola in your coffee. I am. Yes. <laughs> How do you like that? I must be distracted. I've invited David for dinner Friday night. Huh? This Friday? Is that okay? It's the only night of the week that works for us. I'm supposed to go skating with Connor and Maria. The new rink is opening up. Oh. I guess we'll just do it another time then. Cher, can you come check out that new t-shirt I got? I'm not sure it fits right. Since when do you care what I... Since now. Ah! I don't wanna. You saw Mom's face. Can't you go skating another time? But I don't like him. He's too... Uh, I don't know. Did you see how he was trying to suck up to you and Josh? And what's with him being so fake cheery all the time? It makes me sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. I'm not thrilled with him either, but Mom obviously likes him. So let's just get this over with, okay? Maybe Adam was right. Why put off till whenever what I could do on Friday? The sooner I put a plan in action to get rid of that guy, the better. Balloons? Yeah, you're right. It's too much. Better? Mmm, I love carnations. No, you don't. Yes, I do. They're my favorite. I hope everyone's hungry. I'll help you, Mom. Okay, I'm not exactly proud of what I did next. But Mr. Way Too Cheerful, Try Too Hard Balloon Guy had to go before he met anyone I knew and turned me into a social outcast for life. Sweet and sour noodles. My mom's favorite dish. She makes it all the time. Hey, you know, I had braces in high school. I hated mine, but they look groovy on you. Groovy? What decade were we in? And if he thought he was going to bond with me over my braces, he was in the land of yoo-hoo, think again. <laughs> this is terrific. Huh? I mean, excuse me? The flavors really jump out at you. Thanks. Maybe you can give me the recipe. I want to make this for the twins. Twins? Lara and Sarah, David's five-year-olds. I'm very anxious to meet them. Oh! Do you, do you want to see pictures? It's okay. Maybe later. Aren't they adorable? adorable? Adorable. I could already see it. If I didn't do something quick, I was going to spend my formative years babysitting the myopic brats while everyone else was having a life. <laughs> <laughs> Help! 
David brought brownies for dessert. They're from that new place in the mall. I've tried those. They're extra chocolatey. Mmm, these are kind of prefab tasting. Nowhere near as good as my dad's. He makes his from scratch. Matter of fact, he did a lot of cooking when he lived here, and it was all amazing. <laughs> Balloons. Can you believe it? And you need, like, sunglasses when you're in the same room as his ties. My dad would never be caught dead wearing a tie. And he's so cheerful all the time. It gives me a headache. Okay, I'm guessing you're not nuts about the guy. How can my mom like him? Maybe he's nice to her. He's nice to everyone. It's like an illness. Want to come in? Nah, I'm going shopping with my mom. I talked her into getting me new shoes for my dad's concert. Sounds like she feels guilty. Yeah. You should get as much out of this giving mood for as long as you can. Maria! Just looking at the bright side of divorce. I don't know. What do you think? They're both pleather, which is perfect, but which color? I don't know. Orange is cool, but green could be better because, you know, you never see grass stains and stuff. What do you think of these? Um, Mom, they're kind of big for me. No, I was thinking for David. I can't really picture him in those. Really? Why not? I don't know. They're kind of cool looking. He doesn't seem like the type. I like that he's not cool. That means I don't have to try to be cool back. I can just be myself. Okay, fine. But you don't think he's sort of in your face a lot? You mean because he wants to make a good impression? Yeah, except he doesn't. But at least he's trying. I think that's better than not trying at all. I totally don't get it. Haven't you noticed his ties? <laughs> How could I miss them? You have to admit he's unique. Excuse me, carnations are not unique. It's not about the carnations, sweetie. It's the thought behind them. Oh, maybe if you saw him through my eyes. Boy, was Connor ever wrong. My mom wasn't feeling guilty. She was too busy thinking about him to even notice how I felt. Earth to mom! Earth to mom! It's your daughter here! Am I losing you? Because the connection's terrible! Come on, think! How are we gonna get rid of this guy? It's none of our business, Cher. I don't think we should interfere. What do you mean it's none of our business? Do you have any idea what could happen if he and mom actually got married? Our lives could be completely changed forever. I mean, we might have to go to new schools and everything. Or what if he gets transferred to some place with no running water where it snows all the time? He's an accountant, Sharon. What if he and Mom decide to have more kids? We'll all be walking around with spit up on our shoulders, tripping over train sets. We'll probably end up having to babysit them for the rest of our lives. Mom would never let that happen. I'm not going to worry about it. I don't know, Adam. It's probably better if this guy isn't around. You better think of something. Great. Thanks for your help, guys. <coughs> Mom! What is it, sweetie? I don't feel so good. Your head's not warm. It's my stomach. I feel pukey. Do you have to go out tonight? Of course not. I'll stay home and keep an eye on you. Oh, thanks, Mom. That makes me feel better. I'll just phone David and tell him to come over instead. And then Lara says, <laughs> But what if I fall asleep and roll over? I might squash the tooth fairy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. I just want to go check on Sharon. You're looking flushed, sweetie. And you're warm. I think you're getting some sort of bug. Yeah, it wore little round glasses and yucky ties and wasn't going away. Don't they have any medicine for this kind of virus? Luckily, my dad's visit was exactly what the doctor ordered. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Amazing. Totally amazing. I should quit my band and form one with you guys. What do you say? Yeah, let's do it. Then we could see each other all the time. Forget it. I see enough of you as it is. <laughs> Man, this place hasn't changed. Your mom and me came here on our first date. Really? Yeah, and then we went to a horror movie. Ooh, a horror movie? That doesn't sound like a romantic idea for a date. You kidding? She got scared and I got to put my arm around her. It was very romantic. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe that was the answer to everything. All I had to do was recreate my parents' first date and remind them what they loved about each other. And then that would be the end of loser boyfriend. I knew my dad wasn't perfect. He sometimes forgot appointments and he was always comparing everything to a song. But he was my dad and I loved him. Dad, what was the name of that movie you went to? Hmm, you know? I don't even remember. Horror movie? No, no, no. We got Chinese food and had a picnic at the beach. Really? Are you sure? Why are you suddenly so curious about me and your dad? Well, just getting ideas for stuff to do with Alden. I convinced my mom to spend a night with me watching movies. And I told my dad I wanted to cook him a stir fry all by myself. No one else would be home. Getting rid of my brothers cost two baseball tickets, money for food, and one of those giant foam hands for Josh. But it was worth spending my life savings on this. I wanted my parents to be alone. Except for me spying on them, of course, but that was for their own good. Real beach sand was like, so not gonna happen, but I figured kitty litter was an okay substitute. Don't get any ideas, guys, this isn't for you. My preparations were complete. There was no way this date wasn't going to be great. Hi, sweetie. I'm home. When do you want to start to watch? Oh, my goodness. Anybody home? It's wet out there. You OK? We've been set up. Unless you've been redecorating. <laughs> what do we do now? Follow the footprints in the sand? <laughs> For your dining pleasure, spaghetti and Chinese food. And the entertainment tonight is a ton of horror movies. Um... Yeah. Well, Sharon did go to all this trouble. And I am kind of starved. What can it hurt? Maybe I should just go home. Great. Once again, my stupid, dumb braces had ruined everything. No, you shouldn't go out in this storm. I'll just light a candle. And then what happened? My dad asked my mom to come to his concert today. My whole family's going together. All right. I don't even mind having to vacuum kitty litter for the next... <gasps> what? I don't believe it. What's his car doing here? Come on, we're waiting for you. Yeah, we want to get good seats. Hey, Cher. Ready to get down? Never come in. Exactly what I was worried about, the geek in action. And people assuming I was connected to the geek. Hey, guys. Thanks for coming. That was boss, man. I really dug it. Richard, this is David. I know you're the brownie expert, Rich, but you gotta try one of these. He made them himself from scratch. Mmm. Almost as good as mine. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, I didn't get what was going on here at all. How can my dad, this totally cool drummer, even give this guy the time of day? Can I take a couple for the road? The road? I thought you were staying two weeks. Yeah, 
Sorry, but I just got session work on a CD and I really can't turn it down. I have to be in L.A. tomorrow. L.A.? Wow. So when will you be back? Soon, honey, I promise. I couldn't say I was in total shock. It's not as if this hadn't happened before. My dad never stayed around as long as he said he was going to. And whether I liked it or not, my mom looked totally happy with this David guy. It was time to face reality. My mom and dad were probably never gonna get back together. Hey, does your band sell any souvenirs? I'd love to give my girls a t-shirt or something. Sure, I'll see what I can wrestle up. At this rate, David and my dad might even become best friends. It was all too much. The grown-ups were acting way too grown-up. This divorce thing is so mixed up. At the beginning, it could be horrible. And then, suddenly, it's not so bad. No one's get used to it. I hated to admit it, but David's brownies were awesome!